hello and very warm welcome to our yet another video tutorial as you see in your screen the, the heading is prototype cell in UI table view so today we are going to learn how to create a prototype cell in UI table view let's start open your Xcode create a new Xcode project single view application we name it Photo type cell to draw real language will be swift. Press next, and here we will select our location on our hard drive, and here it is. So, basically, why prototype cell are good because if your UI table view contains different cells and then earlier we can use different files or and with that we will create an XIV file that contain UI table view cell and thus for seven suppose if we have seven cells then it we need seven different XIVs so irrespective of this we can use prototype cell so open up your storyboard for this we need a UI table view and let's keep it to constants 0 0 0 and 0 so here this is our UI table view now in order to create uh, a cell for it I, earlier what we do or the other approach is to create a new file here yeah. and we will select a UI table view cell class from here and here we will select also create an XIV file and suppose we name it list table view cell and we will save it for example here so here you can see that it contains the cell and we will use our control here drag some controls here in cell class okay now so this is suppose we have one more cell that is um, list two type of table view cell then we will follow the same steps so it increase our class so irrespective of creating this class we will use prototype cell first we leave this cell and here in main door storyboard as we dragged and dropped ui table view now we can draw and drop ui table view cell Here it is, UI table view cell, and it's a prototype cell. So here, it's content view. We can let's change its background color to this. And here, suppose if we drag a UI label, and here we can drag and give it a constraints like 15, and from top zero trailing will be 15 okay so here it's because we are giving it a height and also we need to give a trailing bottom and here we will set it in so that it can place in the center here it is so now here we are designed our cell using a prototype cell in early case we need to create a class and then drag and drop and then use that class into our ui table view so here we didn't need to specify some cell just we go here table view cell we will say list identifier and we just give a tag to our ui label view so that we can identify if there are more controls in this class so let's give it 101 one. okay uh, in view controller we need to create an IV outlet and at IV outlet we where TV a list of type UI table view and here we will declare 
ui table view delegate ui table view data source let's implement those methods and here at number four the section and here the cell okay so here let's see Yeah, for the time being, we will return 10 of 5 rows and yeah, say tb list dot data source equals to self and tb list dot delegate equals to self. Now we will get implement and delegate method. So it will just make our selection or deselection. Okay, so here we are done with our method. Here we've done, but since here, so let cell is equals to table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier, and we go to main dot storyboard. And here we will go to our table view, and here we will copy the identifier we give, gave it here to here and we paste in here and return also we will specify it will not mean as return cell okay here So let's try to run it and see what happens. So this is a very easy steps to create a prototype cell. No need to allocate, no need to do something, just pass the identify and your cell is there. Let's see if we have any issues. So here it says the table is still nil because we forgot to connect our IB outlet with main the storyboard. So here we go and we will just connect our IB outlet here and let's run it again. So here you can see our cell is there but its height is automatically adjusted so let's implement or give it a table view because the content is dynamic property type and here it says automatic we will give it a 44 so here you can see the height of the table views for we give it 200 let's see what will happens so you can see the height is changed and also we can select now the main thing arrives that how we can set a value to our label so in prototype cells, since 
we have cell but we, we in order to identify the control on cell we, yes we need to use tags so here we have given a UI label a tag of 101 so here we say let list name or say lbl list name is equals to cell dot content view dot u with tag we will pass the tag 101 and here we say that it will be a ui label and then we will say lbl list name dot text is equals to index so we can say list and here we will print index part dot row plus one so it will print list one list two list three list four and five so let's see so here in this way we can get a label using the tag property so here you can see list one list two list three list four list five so now if you have if you have two controls like here let's make it Let's make the trailing delete and here we will drag and drop another label and make it trailing one it's zero and zero. Okay. And here let's say leading constant is missing it's localization so we are not using localization let's see and here since we have given tag 101 to this so we need to give it a different tag and here we need to give it a different tag of 102 and here we will use the same lines just change the name here the tag will go as 102 and if we want to list type we will give it a list type here we will say list type is equals to this So here you can see this is the first level get accessed and this is the second level so this is the way we can design prototype cells in ui table view and we can get accessed in cell 408 index path using tags in swift for you and so here the main advantage of this is suppose someone else is working on your code so he can go to main door storyboard he said this is the cell oh this is contains two level in older approach where we used to create a different files we need to find which file is which cell class is going to be used that's a good approach if you need the same cell in different file uh, different classes so that it can be reused and will not need to redesign or recreate it and if you want this prototype cell to be used in other class you need to copy it and just paste it in other xiv or in other ui table view so here in this video you learn how to create a prototype cell in UI table view and use those prototype cells contents or controls in cell for all index part using tags. If you have any questions then please feel free to comment and question you put your question there and I will answer those questions as soon as I can. If you like our video then please subscribe the channel and like the video and do share the video so that and don't forget to subscribe it because if you subscribe it then you will get notified for our future updates thanks for watching our video have a nice time bye bye for now